Hi, I'm Jen Tomasi, Head of Client Success for Sterling Healthcare. As you know, many businesses and schools have closed their doors in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, you may still be in a position where you have to obtain verification in order to get your candidates started as quickly as possible. Fortunately, Sterling does have its own integrations into third-party sources like Talks and the National Student Clearinghouse. And those third-party integrations really help us satisfy primary source a majority of the time. But not all businesses or schools are in those third-party sources. And so during this time where so many have closed their doors, on a temporary basis, we've modified our workflows and communication methods really to meet two objectives. One, continue to obtain primary source as often as we can. And two, streamline your hiring process so you can get your staff to the front lines as quickly as possible. One of the ways we modified our workflows on a temporary basis is we are now reaching out to your candidates immediately upon starting the verification process, but we're doing so in parallel to trying to obtain primary source. So unless you've asked us not to, when we reach out to your candidates immediately upon starting the process, we are asking for proof of their prior employment or education history. So while we've made modifications on our side, there are some things you can do on your end that would only aid in the process. One of those things is to look at your talk track to candidates and modify it if necessary. When speaking to your candidates, it's really important that you ask them to be as thorough as possible when providing information into the candidate portal and specifically in the verification section. Here are a few examples of what I mean. When they graduated, if they graduated under a different name, encourage them to provide that alias name in the education section of the portal. Also while in that section of the portal, encourage them to not claim a degree that's in progress as having graduated. And as they move on to the employment section within the portal, make sure they provide the name of the company whose name appeared on their W-2 or pay stub. So in the event they were employed by a staffing firm as an example, they don't give us the wrong name to verify. And encourage them to take that extra second to go out on Google and look up information they may not recall offhand. As an example, the street address. When verifying a franchise location, again, as just one example, it actually becomes a very critical data point for us to complete the verification if we have the street address. And lastly, make sure that you prepare them that Sterling will be reaching out and will be reaching out over email over the course of two days. So make sure that they are looking out for communication from Sterling. The finer points in your business continuity workflow can be reviewed between you and your client success partner. But rest assured, Sterling is doing everything in its power to obtain primary source verification and as quickly as possible. But if you have any questions at all about the information in this video, you can reach out to Sterling Healthcare at SterlingCheck.com. That's Sterling Healthcare at SterlingCheck.com. Thank you so much for your time today.